Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalanyam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service exam questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 43. The topic is flow through pipes in fluid mechanics. We will take few questions in the topic fl flow through pipes. The first question from 2014 question paper, water flows through a smooth circular pipe of diameter D and length L because of the pressure difference delta P across the length, the volume flow rate Q, volume flow rate is Q and the flow is turbulent with a Reynolds number 10 power 5. If the pressure difference is increased to 4 times of delta P, the volume flow rate will, will be. We have 4 options here. Uh, among the 4 options, the correct answer is 2Q. So, when the pressure difference is increased to 4 times delta P, the discharge will increase 2 times. That is the answer. So, we will see how in the next slide. For pressure difference delta P, the flow rate is Q. For the pressure difference delta P1, the flow rate is Q1. So, delta P equal to FLV square by 2GD. So, FL by 2G, it is there. Q V square equal to Q square by pi by, pi by 4 D square. So, pi by 4 d square. So, q square divided by pi by 4, it is 0 0.785 to the power 2 equal to 0 0.616. So, d power 4, d square, d power 4. So, multiplying another d is here. So, d to the power 5. So, this will be simplified as fl q square divided by 12 times of the diameter to the power 5. So, finally, delta p is proportional to q square. So, the Q square is the discharge. Now, for the ratio delta P by delta P1, if the pressure difference is delta P, the discharge is Q square. If the pressure difference is delta P1, the discharge is Q1 square. So, delta P, it is as it is. Delta P1, it is increased to 4 times delta P. This is equal to Q square by Q1 square. So, simplifying, cancelling uh, delta P. So, Q1 equal to 2 times of Q. That is the answer to the question. When the pressure difference increases the 4 times, the discharge increases by 2 times. The next question from 2014 question paper, in the above layout of piping, so here we have the piping layout, what is the velocity in the 200 millimeter diameter pipe? So, look at the diagram. So, here first pipe, velocity is V1 equal to 3 meters per second, diameter is 450 millimeter. So, in the branch out, V2 equal to 2.5 meters per second and D2 equal to 300 millimeter. So, here D3 equal to 200 millimeter, we have to find the velocity D3. So, there are four options, we will calculate. So, the answer A1 V1 equal to A2 V2 plus A3 V3. So, the main pipeline is split into two type, two branches. So, Q1 equal to Q2 plus Q3. So, A1 V1 equal to A2 V2 plus A3 V3. Area equal to pi by 4 d square. So, pi by 4 d 1 square. So, in all the left hand side, right hand side, we have pi by 4 that is getting cancelled. So, this is simplified as d 1 square v 1 equal to d 2 square v 2 plus d 3 square v 3. So, d 1 0 0.45 square into velocity v 1 equal to 3 equal to 0 0.3 square into 2.5 plus 0 0.2 square into v 3. So, solving the equation v 3 equal to 9.56 meters per second. Option d is the correct answer. The next question from 2015 question paper, the head loss in a sudden expansion from 8 centimeter diameter pipe to 16 centimeter diameter pipe in terms of velocity V1 in the smaller pipe. So, we have four options here. The correct answer is option D, 9 by 16 V1 square by 2G. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, from the continuity equation A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. So, D1 square V1 equal to D2 square V2. So, 64 V1 equal to 256 V2. So, diameter D1 is given as 8, D2 is given as 16. So, 64 V1 equal to 256 V2. So, V2 equal to 1 by 4 times of V1. Now, the head loss due to the sudden expansion, HE equal to V1, V1 minus V2 whole square by 2G. So, we take V1 outside, V1 square by 2G outside. So, the actually substituting for V2. So, V2 equal to 1 by 4, 1 by 4 times of V1. 
So, V1 square by 2G is taken out. So, this will be 1 minus 1 by 4 whole square. So, 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 square equal to 9 by 16. So, 3 by 4 square equal to 9 by 16 into V1 square by 2G. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2016 question paper. Two reservoir connected by two pipeline parallel, parallel of same diameter D and length. It is proposed to replace the two pipeline by a single pipeline of the same length without affecting the total, total discharge and loss of it due to friction. The diameter of the equivalent pipe DE in terms of diameters of the existing pipeline. So, DE by D, the ratio we have to calculate DE by D is, we have four options here. So, the correct option is 4 to the power 0 0.2. So, DE, the effective diameter divided by diameter of the original pipe is 4 times 4 to the power 0 0.2, that is the answer. So, we will see how in the next slide. Diameter of the equivalent pipe of two pipe equal length and diameter. So, equal discharge for the same discharge QE equal to 2 times of Q. So, pi by 4 DE square plus VE equal to 2 times of pi by 4 D square into V. So, head loss due to friction HF equal to FLV square by 2 GD. Now, for the same loss of head, substituting the velocity from the HF in the HF for the equation. So, here pi by 4 d e square v e equal to 2 times of pi by 4 d square into v that is the equation. Now, substitute for h f, substitute for v. So, v square. So, pi by 4 d e square into v equal to square root of h f 2 g d d e by f l equal to 2 times of pi by 4 into d square into again v equal to square root of h f 2 g d by f l. So, d e to the power 5. So, everything is getting cancelled. d u to the power 5 equal to pi by 4 is cancelled. This square root of h f is cancelled. Square root of 2 g is cancelled. Square root of 1 by f l is cancelled. So, finally, d e to the power 5 by 2 because this is 1 by 2. Here we have 2 square. So, it is 5 by 2 equal to 2 times d diameter to the power 5 by 2. So, d e by d capital d e by d equal to 2 to the power 2 by 5. So, rearranging the terms, this equal to 4 to the power 1 by 5. So, 4 to the power 1 by 5 equal to 0 0.2. So, 4 to the power 0 0.2 is the answer to the question. Next question from 2019 question paper, water is discharged from a tank maintained at a constant head of 5 meter above the exit of a straight pipe 100 millimeter long and 15 centimeter diameter. If the friction coefficient for the pipe is 0 0.01, rate of flow will be nearly we have four options here. So, the correct option is 0 0.04 meter cube per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, head loss due to friction H f equal to 4 F L V square by 2 G D. So, head loss due to friction is given as 5. So, 4 into F equal to 0 0.01 L equal to 100 V square by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.15. So, this equal to 1.359 V square. So, calculating V equal to 1. 918 meters per second. So, calculating the flow rate Q equal to pi by 4 d square into capital V pi by 4 into 0 0.15 square into 1.918 equal to 0 0.0338 meter cube per second. So, this is the answer to the question. The next question from 2019 question paper, a pipe having length of 200 meter and a 200 millimeter diameter with a friction factor 0 0.015 is to be replaced by a 400 millimeter diameter pipe diameter pipe of friction factor 0 0.12 to convey the same quantity of the flow. The equal length of the new pipe for the same head loss will be, we have four options here. So, we have to calculate the equal length of the pipe. So, the answer is 8000 meter. So, we will see how in the next slide. Head loss due to friction is the same for same and discharge is also the same. So, F1, L1, V1 square by 2G, D1 equal to F2, L2, V2 square by 2, 2G, D2. So, F1, L1 by 2G, D1 equal to Q divided by pi by 4, D1 square whole square is equal to F2, L2, 2G, D2 into Q by pi by 4, D2 square to the power 2. So, this is F1, L1, 2G is getting cancelled, pi by 4 square is getting cancelled, discharge square is getting cancelled. The remaining terms of left hand side F1 L1 D1 to the power 5 equal to F2 L2 D2 to the power 5. So, for the, for the first pipe, the friction factor is 0 0.015. 
length equal to 200 millimeter, diameter equal to 0.2 meter to the power 5 equal to for the second pipe, friction factor is 0.012, length is the unknown divided by 0.4 to the power 5. So, calculating length L2 equal to 8000 meter, that is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in fluid mechanics, uh, uh, mechanical engineering. You may find the fluid mechanics book. You can refer to the book for theoretical part, theory, theory portion of flow through pipes. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel. Use the video lectures for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, we will meet again in another video lecture in the solution to the UPS engineering exam, exam questions in the fluid mechanics. Until then, bye.